Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the seventh, you know, whatever, whenever it resonates, because the timing is really different for each and every one of us. So this is being recorded on September 7th for the 7th, 8th, 9th, whatever. Whenever. Typically, these daily vibes, they resonate for me sometimes a week later. And this reading is for somebody. I don't know who. Okay, it's for somebody. Not for everybody. This reading may not be for you. Okay. Let's see what comes up for today. What can we get for today? Okay. <laughs> I just heard, uh, you're the one thing I can't get enough of. That song, you're the one thing I can't get enough of. Hmm. Interesting. Um, whew. So there's been a battle. There has absolutely been some sort of battle here. You hear the dog in the background she's sleeping I've had some comments there's somebody snoring in the background that would be my dog um, <laughs> you know I think there's a new path opening up there's a new path Somebody has given up the battle. I have given up. I have. I have. I have. So somebody has given up on the battle. I'm no longer wanting to fight. I don't want to. I don't want to. And now this new door has opened. It has. And somebody is going back and forth as to whether... Um, Now is the right time. Now is the right time to go through this door or not, whether they've healed or not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I am completely healed, or maybe they aren't completely healed, and they're still on that roller coaster of, you know, highs and lows, okay? I feel as though there is some sort of message being delivered that... could lead to something really good, but somebody is unsure as to whether this opportunity is coming at the right time. I'm not sure this is the right time. Very conflicted about the, this decision, okay? I, there is. I've just gotten out of the war zone. <laughs> you know, maybe that's how you feel like, you know, the war has just ended. The war has just ended and I'm still a little conflicted. Although this path is, has been illuminated for me. I'm not sure I'm ready. And that's what that top line says. Oh, yeah, see, somebody is, isn't completely healed. I was saying, I'm not sure I'm healed, and I don't think somebody is completely healed, okay? Um, let's make sure this is focused and better. Um, yeah, there's, there's, a lack of, there's a lack of completion here with the world card reversed. You're at a crossroads, right? I mean, you're at a crossroads. Do you, you know... Can you? It's not do you, it's can you. Can you... Keep walking. Can you have faith and trust... What is the best choice to make here? You're going to have to let... So this is the... This is... Uh, 
still needing to let go of the past hurts. It's not, com you're, you're healing. Your healing period is not complete. It's not complete. It's not. There's still a lot of hurt here. A lot of hurt, a lot of despair, sadness, a lot of unanswered questions. And I feel as though you are working on rebuilding your own legacy, rebuilding your own abundance. Right now you're working on that. And you're getting somewhere. You've stepped out of the, the war zone completely. So you stepped out of the war zone. You may still have a little bit of bitterness inside because of all the conflict that this war zone brought to you. But it feels like the cycle hasn't been completely completed. There's still a feeling of emptiness because there's some unanswered questions here as to why, 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 why did this happen? What was the purpose? I mean, somebody is really trying to figure out the purpose instead of just walking through and letting go, let go and let God, you know, instead of just letting the light heal you, instead of walking into the light, instead of, you know, broadening your horizons and just Starting over completely instead of allowing yourself to start over completely. Somebody is still wallowing in the whys. <laughs> okay, that's what this is. Instead of, there's an opportunity to, you know, you're at that crossroads, right? You're at that crossroads. You're at the end of the road and there's a boulder at the end of the road. Okay, there's a boulder. It's a big ass boulder. Okay. And you can, one road leads back to the past and, and one road leads to the future. You can only choose one. You can only choose one. You have to choose one. You have to choose one. And, and once you take that step onto the new path, the other path um, dissolves. <laughs> you know, it dissolves. It just fades away. You can't go back. You can't go back. Okay? So I think this is where you're at. You're at that crossroads where you make a... You have to make the decision to walk through that that new rock onto that new path and and let that past dissolve so that you can really complete this life lesson that needs to be learned, okay? Because the world card is a lesson learned. It's reversed. Somebody is refusing to complete this lesson because of the purpose you know I want to know what the purpose is and I know a lot of, I get that question a lot what's the purpose what's the purpose of this the purpose the purpose is for you to find your integrity you know, to find your self-respect. Let me get another card. Yeah, for you to have faith. That's the purpose is for you to let go and let God. This is about replace fear with faith. It is, is this the Hierophant card. Okay, it is. It's about faith. It's about believing in yourself. It's, for, it's about you trusting your inner guide. The lesson here is for you to believe in yourself and to follow your own path wholeheartedly. To learn. I mean, this is a, the Hierophant is a teacher. To learn from the, the hurt, how strong you really are, to believe in yourself. To really deepen your own practice. That's the lesson here. To get to know you. To do what's right for you. This is the card of integrity that I want to know. You be, a lot of you are asking, what is the purpose? Why did this happen? And that's why you're still stewing. You're still hanging on. You're not learning this lesson. Because the lesson here is to have faith and trust in the divine plan. Have faith and trust that everything happens for a reason. 
You don't need to know the purpose. And I know that a lot of people get caught up on that. What was the purpose? What was the purpose? And it, it's like the purpose doesn't matter what the purpose is. Really. You had to learn a lesson. That's what the purpose was. The lesson has to do with your own morals. What you deserve. The less the purpose is is to have patience, patience with the divine, patience with have faith, faith and patience, okay. Um Also, the lesson in this situation is, if the Hierophant is about listening to your inner guide, the Hierophant is your inner guide, okay? So the lesson is listen, 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 listen. So this conflict, this war that you have been through has happened to make you listen. Because when you don't listen, you get yourself into trouble. When you don't listen to your inner guide, you don't listen to that little voice, you don't listen to your gut, you don't, when you don't listen to your intuition, when you don't listen, you get your ass into trouble. That is the truth. That's the truth. So anyway, I feel like right now there's probably you may receive some sort of well this right here is usually a message that is undesirable an undesirable message that comes through that may cause some inner conflict okay there may be a some there you could be dealing with somebody for some of you that are as you could be dealing with somebody that is very immature and petty Okay, this is like pettiness right here. You could be dealing with a very petty individual who is delivering you a message Maybe this, this this message that comes through that isn't what you want to hear allows you or pushes you to take action. You've definitely been stuck. Somebody has absolutely been stuck. Like playing tug of war, you know, tug of war with their emotions, refusing to take any action because of their own sorrow, right? But you have an opportunity for a new beginning here. If you can drop that baggage. If you can take a risk. You know, look at this. We had the very, well, this is the first card and this is the last card. If you could allow this lesson to be just what it is, let it be. Let go and let God. Seriously, this is, that's, it's not about the purpose anymore. It's about you starting over. It's about you having a fresh start. But you had, in order for you to have a fresh start, you got to take action. And if you're not taking any action, if you're just staying stuck, I'm surprised you don't have a hey man. If you're just staying stuck, you're not learning your lesson. You're not. You're not. You're not learning your lesson. You have to walk through that new door to flip this world card over. You have to walk through and, and let the gate shut. Okay, shut the gate. Walk through and shut the gate. There's an opportunity for a fresh start. If somebody would take action, but they haven't. They haven't taken any action. They haven't. So somebody is needing to take action instead of playing tug of war with their thoughts. They need to have faith and trust. They need to believe. They need to listen to their inner guide. They need to stop being hung up on the whys and the purpose of why this happened. 
Stop being, that's just a ploy to stay stuck. I mean, it is. I'm sorry. Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? At this point, just move forward. Believe that it had. this is a believe. Believe that it happened for a reason. Believe, trust. I mean, the hair font is like a priest. It's like a god. It is. Believe and trust that it happened for a reason. It's you don't need to know all the answers, and this is this is like the I need answers. You don't try waiting for the answers. It's not about the answers at this point. It's about your, it's about you starting down a new path and and regaining some self respect. Anyhow, so this is the death of an idea. It really is. You need to let go. This is, I mean, the three of the swords to the four of swords. You need to let go of the regrets. Let go of the hurt. Let go of the uh, the needing the answers. Trust. Trust. Please. Alright, so let's see what we can... Somebody needs to regain their focus, okay? Regain their focus. Maybe you're going to receive a message that, which maybe you're receiving it right now, that, that really pushes you in that new direction and says, you know what, it's not about why anymore. It's about now. Now, let's, let's clarify this Two of Wands. This is a decision that you have to make. Somebody is feeling restless about this decision, knowing that they, they do want to move on, but still searching for answers. That'll keep you stuck. It's mm, Bitterness, anger, resent. Somebody is not being logical. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're not being logical by refusing to complete this cycle, not learning the lesson of trust and trusting divine the divine plan, okay? It's like somebody is trying to <laughs> It's almost like I want what I want and I don't care what the universe wants. You know what I mean? This is what I want, so this is what I want. And it's not about, I don't trust because I think I know more than the universe. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So it's like somebody is trying to turn what isn't meant to be into what is meant to be. You know what I'm saying? They're not trusting in the divine plan. I mean, that is, that's what's going on here. And because they're not trusting, they're getting more bitter and more more resentful as each day passes. But there is an, uh, and they're not learning a lesson, that's for damn sure. But there's an opportunity for a fresh new start in a new direction without taking all of that, this whatever it is with you, because you can't, you just, no. You, you don't take that with you. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start if someone would take action, but they won't. There's absolutely an opportunity for abundance here. You should be grateful for the lessons that you have learned. It's time to enjoy the finer things in life, even if it's on your own. And maybe that's where you're at. Maybe it's like, you know what, I just need to be alone and work on my healing, but I'm here to give you this message. <clears throat> Trust. Trust in, in, let go and let God, trust in the divine plan. You don't need to know why. You don't need to know why. They know why. There's an opportunity for a lot of prosperity 
in abundance, in security, in stability. And a, there's a new golden opportunity waiting for you. If you could be grateful, you know, that you're still alive, that you had this experience, that you were able to face this storm, that you learned to believe in yourself, that you learned to have self-respect. Be grateful for, what's that word, unanswered prayers. Because there's something bigger, there is. There's a golden opportunity waiting for you once you start over. There is, there is. Oh boy. Yes, there is. I just happened to turn it over. There's an opportunity for, this could even be self-love, true love, a new love. But it's after you start over and you, you are grateful. You learn, once you take action, which somebody hasn't, you learn that... You know, everything happens for a reason. Trust. Trying, somebody up here is trying to escape the reality, seriously. Trying to escape the truth. Probably trying to mask it. They could be trying to mask their whatever. There's somebody could be doing drugs or alcohol or whatever because, you know, trying to search for answers when they should just be, be believing and trusting. Anyway. There's somebody here that is really angry and resentful and bitter because they didn't get what they wanted and they're trying to figure out the answers and when there's an opportunity to start over in a new direction but they're refusing to take action. Some of you, what about the ones that have taken action and are grateful? The ones that when you get to this point of being grateful, being grateful for what it was, you know, and you come to this point of acceptance, you know, and you're like, huh, I'm, I'm so good right where I'm at. You receive a golden opportunity. Okay, you are going, this is like the Ace of Cups going into the Nine, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles going into the Nine of Pentacles. And now, you know, so, I mean, yeah, so it equals a 10. But anyway, long story, I could keep going. But anyhow, um, you are going to receive a solid, stable opportunity. But you have to take action first. and somebody. Ha so for those of you that have taken action, this opportunity is right around the corner. It literally is. Because you have clo you've, you've faced the storm. You accept the storm. You see it for what it is. It's like, you know what? It's, I'm done. I'm happy. I'm good. For those of you that are here, when you're at a happy point of independence, and you know, you're, you're good enjoying life it's, the time is ripe for this golden opportunity and there's a fresh start here that could lead to love okay and something solid and long term but for those of you that are still bitter and refusing to learn this lesson trying to <laughs> go against god's plan okay you're trying for those of you that are okay for those of you that are trying to you know, make it be something it's not. It's like, I'm, I can manifest this person into loving me. That's an example. That's just an example. Somebody is trying to use their own powers to manifest the wrong thing and they're bringing bad shit into their life by doing that. Just saying. I mean, that don't work out. Anyway, let go and let God believe and trust that everything happened for a reason. I feel as though... There's a new door that is, is opening, that there is probably a new opportunity here for something stable and secure for those of you that are ready to take a risk and walk down that new path. For some of you, you guys need to let go of that idea. You need to let go of those thoughts that I need to know why. All that's doing is causing restlessness, bitterness, and resentfulness. And hurt. You can't heal. You're not allowing yourself to heal by rehashing it, rehashing it, rehash. Trust, 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 trust. That's all you got to do is trust that it happened for a reason. Okay? Just trust it.
So yeah, there's an opportunity for love. A, a new beginning in love. There is a new beginning in love. That could lead to something very solid and stable. Something that you can take to the bank. For those of you that step over the finish line and let go of the resent, let go of the bitterness, let go of the unanswered questions and trust and have faith that the universe, God, angel, spirits know what they're doing. Believe it. Should we get one of these? Should we, should we, should we? Oh, we haven't used one of these in a while. Let's try one of these. Receiving. Looks like she's smoking a pipe to me almost. But anyway, um, I don't know where that came from. It's like she's taking a drink of something. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 27. Receiving. You are so loved. Your every need is witnessed and responded to by the universe. However, you sometimes forget this. Oh, this is perfect. You are so loved. Your every need is witnessed and responded to by the universe. However, you sometimes forget this. You become swept up in the momentum of habitual consciousness. Habitual. This is consciousness, but anyway. And you forget to take a moment to stop, breathe, and be. In that moment, you can receive the love of the universe that is receiving you. It will nourish you with contentment and energy. You have not done this enough. So your soul is becoming parched and is drying out. Energy has been going out of you, but there is not enough coming back in. It is time to bring something back in for you. To receive and be received, you are being offered a chance for restoration now. To feel nourished, cared for, and loved. Accept it. You deserve it. The healing process below will help you surrender any guilt or shame you feel for having needs in the first place. Do you know how much joy the universe gains from being able to give to you? When you delight in what you receive, when you openly embrace a gift and are so happy and are so happy with it, the universe is fully received by you. In this space, there is joyful communion because you and life, between you and life, energy flows more freely and magic happens. When you demur, saying you cannot accept, that is too great a gift, or you are not worthy, you are impeding, hold on, impeding that flow. You are inhibiting the communion, the connection, the playful interaction between you and the universe. Enough with the false modesty and guilt. You are a radiant sun in human clothing, and an in, in, in exquisite life experience is your birthright. Enjoy it. Soak it up, all of it, including the restoration of sacred rest. From that place of nourishment, you will more effortlessly create, live, and love with greater energy and thriving, pulsing passion. The earth resets or rests each night so it can greet the sun again each morning with a spectacular living art of sunrise. Allow yourself to switch up, step away, close the laptop, switch off the phone, and just be with yourself for a little while. That will be this card. You need to let all this shit go. You will return and be more efficient and effective. Rest now, play now, and work later. Forget your worries for a while. Switch off. Do something else. Let it all go. And it will all flow. Like I said, you need to let it all. You do, you do, you do. You don't... It's, it's not about the purpose. I know a lot of you, I want to know the purpose. I want to know the purpose. 
that's going to hold you back. It's about moving forward with a new plan. Okay, just, just, I'm ready to learn something new. I'm going to do it differently this time. And go with it. Just go with the flow. Let go and let God. Trust. There's an opportunity for new love here. There is. New. New. For those of you that are grateful for the lessons that you have learned and accept and believe and trust and are ready to, to take that leap of faith. Good luck.